Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the schematic representation of fire alarm system. Basically, this diagram illustrates the interconnection of various components within fire alarm system as you can see on your screen. And also it serves as a blueprint for installation, maintenance and troubleshooting. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscription button to get more updates on firefighting and fire alarm system according to NFPA requirements. So before we move ahead with the schematic diagram, we just try to understand the importance of fire alarm system once again. So imagine a scenario where you are inside a particular building and suddenly there is a fire. Then how do you know that there is a danger or there is a fire in this building? Here what fire alarm system comes into picture. So basically fire alarm system constantly monitors for any signs of smoke or heat. Whenever they detect a fire, the fire alarm panel will actuate the horn strobes thereby alerting the occupants inside the building so that they can evacuate safely from the fire zone. See this fire alarm panel runs from the power supply or from the building power supply and also there is a provision or there is a secondary power supply in the form of batteries to ensure functionality during loss of power. So regular maintenance and testing is required according to the local authority regulations and NFPA 72 requirements to ensure efficiency of this fire alarm system. So now in next slide we are going to discuss about the details of the schematic diagram. So now here for example you have a fire alarm control panel. This will be connected to the detectors and manual pull stations and also this is connected to the on strobes. If you want to know more about this functionality of these components, you can watch my earlier videos which I posted on NFPA 72 training module available on my YouTube channel. So this fire alarm control panel will be supplied power from the building which is basically of 20, 220 VAC and we call this as loop wiring. And in this devices are connected and horn strobe wiring is called NAC circuits or NAC circuit wiring. NAC means notification appliance circuits which are connected to the various horns, strobes, speakers, etc. So batteries will also be placed inside the panel. In order to select the batteries, we need to do the battery calculations. In future classes, we will discuss about these calculations, how to perform about all these things. Apart from that, we need to know there are basically two types of wirings used in fire alarm system, class A and class B. Basically in class A, I'll just show on your screen small diagram. In class A, the wiring will be returned to the panel 
after connecting to the devices fine and in class b the wiring will be will not return to the panel and we will close this wiring by using end of line resistor so this will be class b wiring so basically as per nfpa 72 we are going to use class a wiring for the smoke detectors heat detectors and all the other initiating devices and class b wiring will be used for nac appliance circuits and class a wiring has four wires and class b wire has two wires basically the importance of this class a wiring is that power is supplied from both the direction so one if the one wire is cut which will not impact any loss of function to the other device fine and uh, in class b the power is fed in only one direction with an end of line resistance present at the opposite end see i did not discuss about this schematic diagram in our earlier slides because i want you to make sure to know the concept so coming back to the schematic diagram here we have shown the addressable fire alarm control panel which is of single loop so from this fire alarm panel we can only take one loop in one loop based on manufacturer data sheet we can connect about 200 to 250 devices fine each manufacturer has different range so we need to check the manufacturer data for this and also the panel panel will have four NAC circuits inbuilt from where we can connect various horn strobes so as per this particular figure you can understand that these devices are connected in class a wiring and the horn strobes are collect connected with class b wiring since you can see end of line resistor apart from that here we have mentioned the sizing of this loop which is of 16 awg basically 1.5 square mm wire will be used for the devices and 2.5 square mm will be used for the nac devices or horn strobes here we mentioned class a class b wiring in nodes apart from that we have shown the description of each device which we have shown here in this particular riser diagram whenever you prepare any package we need to submit this riser diagram so that we can easily understand how the wiring has been connected and what are the devices connected to the control panel as i already told you in addressable fire alarm control panel we can address each device so this addressing can be done as we like but it has to be programmed in the panel or it has to be mentioned in the panel so addressing for example this is loop 1 so we can mention like l1 for example you have a smoke detector sd01 and then you can continue as we like we can mention this addressing in conventional panel you will not find this particular address and uh, apart from that for example you have a conventional panel from conventional panel we can define only zones so for example in this wiring we are connected with the devices like smoke detector heat detector etc and uh, we will consider this as zone 1 in any particular building and for this we will consider as zone 2 so number of devices limitation we need, we need to check as per the manufacturer data, data sheet i am sorry apart from that from the panel conventional panel we can connect it to the various horn strobes and this can be called as circuit one for example and various horn strobes can be connected.
connected and this can be called as circuit 2. Basically here you can see this will be in conventional panel it will be class B wiring and uh, apart from that in this particular building as I already told you for example this is a complete building and we will consider this as zone 1 and this as zone 2. If fire occurs in this particular building the fire alarm panel which has been installed inside the, the building will be uh, you know from which we can know that the fire has been occurred in zone 2 but we will not be able to know exactly in zone 2 in what which particular device has detected the fire. So the main advantage of the addressable fire alarm panel is that if the fire occurs in this particular area there is a device number which can be seen on the fire alarm panel. From fire alarm panel we can easily identify that this particular area and this particular device has detected the fire and fire department guys can go there and try to you know uh, evacuate the occupants so that it will be easy for everyone to be uh, you know on the safer side. See this wiring will be selected based on the distance and number of devices and also voltage drop calculations will be performed to select how many horn strokes to be connected in one particular circuits. So I hope you understand uh, today's session. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the subscription button and click on the notification to get more informative content on fire alarm and firefighting systems. Thank you so much once again. Bye.